The third model that we want to look at is quantity discount model. As you know, in reality, uh, you get discounts if you have a certain uh, you know, number of inventories you are ordering, then you are going to get discounts. For example, you, know, I, you can buy you know, uh, 10 textbooks at a time and get a discount of 10% or something like that. So uh, depend, this quantity discount is very relevant in inventory management. And how, how should we reflect that into our model? And that's a quantity discount model. And that's a, a total cost equals material plus ordering cost and uh, holding cost. So material cost, ordering cost, and holding cost. These are three aspects and we want to consider and uh, see how it affects our uh, inventory cost. So the total cost equals annual demand times the cost plus uh, annual demand over EOQ uh, times ordering cost plus Q over 2, which is average uh, inventory, times care carrying cost or holding cost. And this is the formula that we are going to be using. And uh, um, let us uh, see what formula we can use for quantity discount model. And there are four steps to follow. Uh, step one is uh, for each discount price, uh, C. Um, uh, for discount C, you, you have to uh, calculate EOQ equals square root of 2 times DCO uh, divided by IC. And I stands for holding cost as a percentage of the uh, uh, inventory cost. And uh, um, step two says that uh, if EOQ is less than minimum for discount, adjust the quantity to Q which is minimum for the discount. And you will know what I mean when I take an example. The step three is for each EOQ or adjusted Q, compute total cost equals uh, the DC that you get plus uh, discount you get plus uh, a D over Q times CO plus Q over two times CH. And then you will be able to compare this total cost with the other total cost and pick the, the best one, which is choose the lowest cost quantity. You could have breaks for several levels, 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, and 15 to 20, and so forth. And at the time, you are going to incur different types of total cost, and you have to choose which one is the lowest for your business. So let's take an example, the breast department store. And this store, uh, a toy, uh, sells toy race cars and uh, quantity discounts are available uh, from this uh, department store. And uh, the ordering cost is $49 per order and annual demand is 5,000 uh, cars and inventory carrying cost is uh, 20%. I is 20%, and that information we know. And another information is that uh, the discount uh, is available depending on the number of uh, uh, products uh, people are buying. So 0 to 999, there's no discount, and the basic price is $5. And if uh, uh, 1,000 to uh, you know less than 2,000, uh, cars are sold, then you know discount is 4%, so 4.8 uh, per unit will be your discount. And if it is greater than 2,000, then there's a 5% discount, which is $4.75 per uh, that toy. So given this situation, what should we do? And we want to find these four steps that we talked about in the previous slide, and let's uh, do that. So first step was to compute EOQs for each discount. So we have a different discount uh, price, and uh, uh, we have to use it uh, for your own uh, calculation. So we have uh, 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 two times, two DC, right? So two times the annual demand is 5,000 and the ordering cost was 49. So it's the same, the denominator is the same for all cases. Uh, however, the price is different because we have different price. So we have discount times uh, uh, the, the cost or the product price is $5 for uh, uh, level one or discount number one. So EOQ one is 700 cars per order. 
uh, that's the economic order quantity that you can use for this uh, first uh, discount uh, uh, interval. The second uh, discount interval, uh, if you use the same formula with $4.8 as, uh, uh, as the discounted price, then you get 714 cars per order for your economic order quantity. Similarly, for EOQ3, you get a uh, similar result, 718 cars per order. For your information, EOQ was uh, uh, calculated by using 2DC over IC, and I is the discount rate, and C is the cost of the uh, product. Then you have this uh, uh, grab, and uh, for EOQ1, it looks like this, and uh, the EOQ level says it's uh, uh, you know, 700 cars, and uh, at the time, the price would be um, uh, $5, and, and if you add uh, the setup cost and holding cost, then it should be over here, the optimal total cost. And on the second level, if it is beyond 1,000, and uh, the EOQ model says it's 714 uh, cars. So notice that this uh, graph is uh, uh, leaning toward uh, uh, to the bottom, and then and it's uh, picking up again after hitting this optimal point. And we see that it's below uh, 1,000, right? So 718 is. 14 is right here, which is below 1,000. And therefore, this is the started line is, uh, uh, you know, uh, not feasible area. This is not feasible. And uh, it is going to increase from 1,000 to 2,000. And then after 2,000, we see uh, this. Um, and then at the time, the UQ was 718. And uh, again, there is, there's a dotted line and it's uh, about here, 718, and uh, it's not relevant. So what is uh, relevant is after 2000, this is going to be used, right? So after 1000, uh, this uh, graph is relevant. After 2000, this one is relevant. So in step two, uh, we can adjust quantities below the allowable discount range. Uh, so if EOQ for discount one is allowable, then you use uh, 700 as your EOQ value. However, uh, if you look at uh, discount two, even though it's uh, uh, EOQ is 714, it's not relevant. So what you have to do is you have to uh, choose the lowest quantity in that discount level, and that one is 1,000, right? So I, we are, you are going to uh, you know, take advantage of the discount at the lowest uh, possible cost. So therefore, 1,000 should be your option. Similarly, uh, um, you know, for discount three interval, it's uh, 718. However, it's not feasible. The lowest value is 2,000 when it is relevant. So you're gonna gonna use 2,000 instead of 718 given the circumstance. So that's why it's uh, 700, 1,000, and 2,000 is your lowest EOQs that you can use for this model. And then we can go to my, uh, step three, compute total cost for each quantity. So now you have different uh, EOQ uh, depending on the uh, discount and uh, you want to calculate corresponding total cost. And if you do that, we have uh, for discount one, uh, unit price was $5, order quantity was 700, uh, there was a EOQ for this discount. And if you calculate the material cost, it's uh, uh, 25,000. Uh, so five times seven is 25,000. Uh, and uh, D over Q times C0, if you calculate that, it's 350. And annual carrying was uh, 350. The total cost is 25,700. For discount number two, we have unit price 4.8. And uh, the quantity is 1,000 rather than the 714. And uh, we use 1,000 there. And uh, at annual mature cost is going to be 4.8 times 1,000 uh, gives you uh, uh, 24,000. And uh, uh, 
annual ordering cost is 245, and annual carrying cost is 480. Uh, so this is not optimal. They are not the same because uh, we are not using you know 714 as the economy kind of order quantity. If it was 714, then it would have been the same. So the total cost 24,725. And then we have uh, the third model. And uh, if you plug these numbers in, you will find that the total cost is 24,822.50 cents. And uh, the lowest cost is actually 24,725 dollars. Therefore, your choice your, uh, for the discount model is uh, discount number two. So about 1,000 uh, 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 orders. When you are ordering, you want to order 1,000. That is uh, lowering your cost the best. So, so that's how you can find um, the optimal value uh, with the discount uh, 